Need some coins for rookie premieres? Head on over to rockbottomcoins.com for the safest and cheapest coins anywhere. Use code Zerk at checkout for a 10% discount on your order. The whole thing wobbing. What is going on guys? It is Xerxy coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have the best possible team in Madden 19 Day 1. Now uh, the Madden 19 Ultimate Team Database Team Builder is actually up so if, all you have to do it's not like official. Uh, It'll say myhead.com slash 18 slash team builder. So you go over here to team builder and you have to click on 18. And then once you get in there, just change the 18 to 19 and it will actually pop up for you guys. So with that being said, uh, I went ahead and I made a my head lineup of the best possible players that you guys can get day one. So I'm going to go ahead and go over the team and show you guys it's a 91 overall squad. So that is definitely pretty nice for day one. And at the left tackle, we have David Bakhtiari, and I actually have to click on edit, so give me one second. All right, so David Bakhtiari has himself an 86 strength with a 94 awareness, 65 agility, 65 speed, 76 excel, 85 run blocking, 94 pass block, and 84 impact block. So he's more of a pass blocking uh, type of left tackle. Uh, we also have Kalichi Asamelli. Now, I could have gone with Steve Hutchinson. So if you want to see the comparison between these two, uh, 89 strength, both of them 94 awareness, uh, 67 agility, 69 speed, 72 excel. So he's definitely a lot faster. Uh, Kalichi Asamelli is 84 run blocking, not as high. Pass block a little bit better, and the impact block is one lower. So really, it's it's really who do you want to go with here? And personally, I think I think I would go with Kalichi Asimelli just because he does have three more pass block, and I feel like pass block here is a lot better, and plus the speed is a lot lot better. Now at center, what's funny is that Travis Frederick is actually the highest overall center and the third highest overall center, but comparing him to Marquise Pouncey, you guys can see the stats, 88 awareness, 93 awareness I believe that is, uh, 64 agility, 61 speed, 75 acceleration, also is a 91 run blocking, or actually a 51 speed on him, and also an 89 pass block with an 88 impact block, so of course the run block is insanely better than Pouncey at 91. So this card is going to be disgusting. Obviously, I'm a Cowboys fan, and I might try to pick that card up day one. Uh, right guards, actually, number two is Zach Martin, so another Cowboy. Right behind, Team Diamond Marshall Yonda, so highest base elite, uh, center, and right guard are both Cowboys. Uh, you guys can see Yonda's stats, though. 90 run block, 88 pass block, and an 83 impact block. Definitely very nice on him. Uh, right tackle, we have Lane Johnson, which the next highest would be Jack Conklin. Who has himself an 84 strength, 93 awareness, uh, 73 agility, 76 speed, 83 excel. Also has an 89 run blocking with a 92 pass block and an 84 impact block on him. Tight ends, we have Greg Olson and also Travis Kelsey. So you can want to see the comparison between these two. Uh, really, the stats are kind of weird. Route running for some reason says zero, but 83 speed, 74 strength, 70 run blocking with a 93 catch, 88 release, 93 catch in traffic, and a 91 spec catch. And they're both the same height, so in terms of which guy is better, honestly, I'm going to go with Greg Olson, just because, I mean, better spec catch, better catch in traffic, better catch, better release. Can't send the route running, but I'm going to imagine it goes to Greg Olson. Of course, if you're more of a run-first offense, then Travis Kelsey might be the better tight end for your team. Now, down here, though, we have some absolute studs at receiver and also just in the backfield. Uh, Randy Moss, you guys can see his stats with 90 speed, 91 catching, 78 elusiveness, 92 spec catch, 89 release, 0 route running, 88 catch on traffic, and a 91 jump. Uh, Team Dom and Julio Jones, 87 speed, 90 catch, 83 elusiveness, 92 spectacular catch, 89 release, 90 catch of traffic, and a 91 jumping. And then we also have Larry Fitzgerald with 79 speed, which is really bad. Uh, 94 catch, 8, 68 elusiveness with a 91 spec catch, 90 release, 91 catch of traffic, and a 91 jumping. And then, of course, Odo Beckham Jr. is number four, if you're curious of his stats. You guys can see he has 92 spec catch with 88 speed, 87 elusiveness, 85 catching traffic, and an 88 jumping. Next up, though, we have Le'Veon Bell, which the next highest back would be Melvin Gordon. Uh, 87 speed, 92 agility, has an 89 excel, 90 carrying, 94 broad carry vision, 89 elusiveness, 83 truck, and a 92 juke. So, I mean, you're comparing him to 
Melvin Gordon. Gordon just has carry and speed on him. Besides that, he's got six more trucking, so that definitely makes him a lot better. One more elusiveness. Uh, the carrying is only three less, but still, Melvin Gordon of high and carry is kind of confusing. Uh, two more Excel and three more Jody for Le'Veon Bell. It's definitely a very good card. And then, of course, we have Tom Brady, which you can compare him to the next highest, which would be Steve Young. Obviously, the throwing stats, amazing. 56 speed. He's obviously not a scrambler. Uh, he also has himself a 92 throw power, a 95 short, 92 medium, and an 83 deep. With a 94 play action and an 83 throw on the run. Uh, so the deep is really bad, but the short and medium is insanely good uh, compared to even Steve Young. Of course, Steve Young has that 81 speed, though, so he's more mobile. And he actually has higher throw deep. So personally, I'd probably go with Steve Young. But because he is the highest overall, Tom Brady will be taking the QB spot in this lineup. We also have Lorenzo Neal, which the next ice back would be Lorenzo Neal, and then Tommy Bohannon. And you guys can see he has 77 speed with an 87 strength, 90 awareness. Also, he's going to need more run blocking, 67 catch, 85 stiff arm, and a 79 truck. Uh, compared to Tommy Bohannon, Bohannon's kind of more of a hand-the-ball-to-me type fullback. Uh, with the fact that his trucking is way higher besides that though very comparable in terms of fullbacks I think right there, but on to the defense you guys can see free safety of course is Ronnie Lott compared to the Earl Thomas Which is Earl Thomas looks glitchy and I can't wait to uh, try and get this card 89 speed 91 excel 94 play rec 85 tackle 92 zone 94 hip power and 91 pursuit I've seen a lot of gameplays with this Ronnie Lott and I gotta say he is an absolute killer so I absolutely cannot wait to use that card as well. Uh, we also have Earl Thomas, who has 88 speed, 89 excel, with a 92 zone, so the same zone, and also an 87 hit power. So really just the coverage stats the same. Uh, next up, we have Jadamion Clowney, comparing to Derek Brooks. You can see the stats. Uh, 89 block shed, 88 hit power. Gonna be an absolute goon coming off the edge. It, I, I cannot wait to use that Jadamion Clowney. Now, the top two middle linebackers would be Ruben Foster and Luke Keekley. Keekley only has 79 speed, which is kind of bad, to be honest. Uh, not like the, the worst, but still wish was better. Also, it's an 85 block shit, 89 hit power, but Ruben Foster, 80 speed, 83 zone, 92 hit power, and an 88 block shed. Uh, Bobby Wagner also has 81 speed, if you guys are wondering about Bobby Wagner. So, really, speed is not the best on linebackers here. Uh, Ryan Kerrigan compared to Ted Hendricks, who would be tied for the highest overall. 78 speed for both of them. Strength goes to Kerrigan. Excel is the same. Tackle goes to Hendricks. Play rec goes to Ryan Kerrigan, but the block shit goes to Hendricks. The pursuits and the hit power also both go to Ryan Kerrigan. Uh, next up, we have Adrian Amos. So it's only an 89 overall strong safety is the highest, but 90 speed with 89 Excel is crazy good. Also an 89 play rec, 89 zone, and 88 hit power. Adrian Amos is such an underrated card. I'm definitely going to try to get that card when I do the Team Diamonds and probably keep him because he probably won't be too expensive to do. Cornerbacks, though, we definitely have a nice little bunch. You can compare with Jalen Ramsey to Xavier Rhodes here. 88 speed, 89 excel, 94 agility, or 84 agility, with a 93 man, 92 zone, and 94 press for Ramsey. And then you guys take a look at the stats for Rhodes. 87 speed, 86 excel, with 86 agility with better play rec and better catching than Jalen Ramsey and then of course we also have Champ Bailey who has 88 speed 89 excel 89 agility 91 man and zone 83 press 91 play rec and an 81 catching and then Chris Harris Jr. who has 86 speed so a little bit on the slower side but uh, 91 man and zone as well in an 87 press with a 92 play rec now taking a look at the defensive line we have Bruce Smith compared to Aaron Donald uh, Donald has 75 speed which is really really good but Bruce Smith has 73 speed with 86 strength, 79 acceleration, 85 block shed, 90 power move, and 89 fun ass move. So it really is a little bit better than Aaron Donald. Oh, they're both very, very good cards. The Dominican Sue and Jared McCoy come in at defensive tackles. 67 speed, 93 strength for Sue with 92 block shed and an 88 power move. Sue's card is going to be absolutely disgusting. Uh, Jared McCoy has an 84 finesse move and 89 play rec over Sue. Besides that, every single stat goes to Nadamican Sue. Not really surprised. Uh, left end, though, we have Cameron Jordan, which you can compare him to JJ Watts. 92 power move, 91 block shed, 73 speed, 
86 strength and an 89 play rank. I want to get this Cameron Jordan card so bad. He looks so disgusting and I cannot wait to use him within the first week or two because I'm definitely going to try to do all the team down to get running lots. Uh, now on to the specials. We have 89 Johnny Hecker, which you can compare to Marquette King who's number two. Uh, kick power does go to King with 90, but accuracy goes to Hecker with 86. Uh, speed as well goes to Marquette King, of course, with 80. And then kickers, we have Justin Tucker and Matt Bryant, 1 and 2. Tucker has 90 kick power with an 86 kick accuracy to start off the game. So with that being said, guys, that is the entire, and also Ronnie Lott was the highest overall uh, kick return, so I decided to go with him. And then, of course, we have long snapper, third down back, and kickoff specials. Do you guys want to see it down here? Uh, you can see the team overalls and also you know special teams, defense, offense, team salary, stuff like that. But if you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and comment. I'm going to be bringing out probably uh, a couple different team builder videos that I already have planned for you guys within the next couple days. So be on the lookout for that. Madden 19, guys, is right around the corner. Once again, thank you guys so much for the support as of recently. It has been absolutely insane. Make any subscribers like crazy. If you guys are not already subscribed, please do hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so you guys get notified whenever I do upload another video like this or just in general another Madden 19 Ultimate Team video you guys will not want to miss out this year. I'm going to be uploading like crazy so please if you aren't subscribed hit that sub button and if you enjoyed the video hit the sub button like and also comment down below and as always I will see you guys next time.